Lectures on the History of Philosophy by Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel is a milestone in the history of philosophical thought. In this work, Hegel presents his view of the development of philosophy throughout history as a rational process that unfolds according to a dialectical progression. Hegel begins with the notion that the history of philosophy is a manifestation of spirit, Geist, gradually coming to know itself through time. According to Hegel, History is not a collection of random occurrences, but a rational process that follows the development of consciousness and reason. Each philosophical system that appears in history is thus an embodiment of the spirit's attempt to comprehend itself and the world. For Hegel, the history of philosophy can be divided into three main periods, the ancient, the medieval, and the modern. In the ancient period, philosophy begins with the natural philosophy of the Ionian thinkers, such as Thales, Anaximander, and Heraclitus. These pre-Socratic philosophers grappled with the principles of the natural world, speculating about the basic substance from which all things are made. Heraclitus, for example, famously posited that everything is in a state of flux, and it is the tension between opposites that constitutes reality. Following the pre-Socratics, Hegel highlights the work of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Socrates introduced a shift from natural philosophy to ethical considerations, focusing on self-knowledge and the virtues of the human soul. Plato developed a system of transcendent forms, positing that the material world is a shadowy representation of eternal, unchanging ideals. Aristotle, on the other hand, took a more empirical approach, systematically categorizing the natural world and laying the groundwork for logic and science. Medieval philosophy, as Hegel describes it, is characterized by the fusion of Greek thought with religious doctrine, particularly within Christianity. The medieval period sees the rise of scholasticism, where thinkers such as Augustine and Thomas Aquinas sought to reconcile philosophical inquiry with religious belief. Augustine incorporated Platonic thought into Christianity, while Aquinas synthesized Aristotelian philosophy with Christian theology aiming to prove God's existence and attributes through rational argumentation. The modern period for Hegel begins with the Renaissance, which reawakened interest in classical philosophy and stimulated intellectual development. Hegel believes that modern philosophy truly starts with the work of Descartes, who introduces the method of systematic doubt and the famous cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. Descartes' focus on the subject as a starting point for philosophy marks a significant shift from the medieval emphasis on theology to the modern emphasis on the autonomy of reason. Following Descartes, Hegel highlights Spinoza's pantheism and Leibniz's monadology, each contributing unique metaphysical systems. Spinoza's philosophy presents a universe where everything is part of a single, divine substance, while Leibniz argues that the universe is made of countless simple substances or monads, each reflecting the whole universe from its perspective. Another crucial figure in modern philosophy is Immanuel Kant, whom Hegel views as a significant turning point. Kant's critical philosophy distinguishes between the phenomenal and the noumenal world, emphasizing the limits of human reason. Kant argues that while we can know things as they appear to us, phenomena, we cannot have direct knowledge of things in themselves, noumena. Hegel also addresses post-Kantian philosophers such as Fichte, Schelling, and others who explored the nature of the self and the relationship between subjectivity and objectivity. Fichte, for example, focused on the self's creative activity and the notion of the ego as the foundation of all reality. Schelling explored the unity of nature and spirit, seeking a system that could reconcile freedom and necessity. In the culmination of his analysis, Hegel presents his own philosophy as the synthesis and culmination of the entire historical process. Hegel's system is characterized by the concept of dialectic, where the development of thought and history proceeds through a threefold process of thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. Every stage in the unfolding of spirit confronts contradictions that are resolved at a higher level, leading to an increasingly comprehensive understanding of reality. For Hegel, the endpoint of the dialectical process is the absolute, the full self-realization of spirit where all contradictions are subsumed and all knowledge is unified. His philosophy attempts to demonstrate that the absolute comes to know itself through its manifestations in nature, human history, 
and philosophical thought. Hegel sees this culmination not as an end, but as a perpetual process, where philosophy continues to evolve as a living and active part of human culture. Hegel's Lectures on the History of Philosophy thus offers not only a history of philosophical ideas, but an overarching philosophical system that sees history as the progressive, rational unfolding of spirit's self-knowledge. It is a narrative in which each philosophical contribution is understood as a necessary step in the development of spirit towards greater self-awareness and freedom.